Hello and welcome Coastline family. Today we find ourselves in Numbers chapter 33 where we're given an outline of every place the Israelites camped on their way to the promised land. A journey that should have taken just 11 days took them nearly 40 years instead. Instead of leaving Egypt and heading straight east along the Mediterranean Sea, God took them south down the western edge of the Sinai Peninsula to Mount Sinai, then back up the eastern edge. Why did God do it this way? Because God knew that if they took the easy 11-day route, the Israelites would encounter the Philistines and have to fight. And he knew they weren't anywhere near ready to go to war. The Israelites needed to grow spiritually. They needed to learn a lot about who God was and who they were as his chosen children. They had to learn to trust him when their backs were against the wall. They needed to understand that God is always faithful, even when they weren't, and that his discipline, as harsh as it may sometimes seem, always has a purpose. Along the way, they grumbled, mumbled, complained against their leader and disobeyed God. And as the good father that he is, God used those things as teaching opportunities. It was through those times that they ultimately learned to trust and rely on God. Maybe you're in a situation where you've prayed and prayed and it seems God is taking forever to restore a relationship gone bad. Or you've been trying to find a good job, but everything that comes your way isn't what you're looking for. Maybe you've been trying to finish your schooling and the money has run out or your life circumstances just won't allow the time to finish. Often, as we embark on our journey to our promised land, the journey is rarely an easy one. Sometimes God's leading doesn't make much sense and his timing seems to be a little off. Days turn to weeks, months, even years of waiting. We find ourselves in the wilderness but before you throw up your hands in defeat, take a moment to stop and embrace the wilderness that you're in. Like the Israelites, this is your opportunity to learn and grow. Learn who God is and what he wants for you. All the while you're wandering in the wilderness, know that God can be trusted. He knows your heart, he knows your desire, and he always, always sees the big picture. As the chapter closes, God gives the Israelites some specific instructions. They were to cross over into the Promised Land, drive out all the inhabitants, destroy their molded images, and tear down all their high places. These are things that the Israelites would never have been able to accomplish when they first left Egypt. And eventually, after 40 years, the Israelites that finally entered the Promised Land were ready for the task. God has a special blessing in store for you too as you wander through your wilderness. Are you ready for that blessing? Do you have some growing and learning to do? I want to encourage you to be clay in his hands, work with him, and help him make you ready. Learn everything that you can, be patient, wait on him, and learn to trust him. His riches are unsearchable. Believe me, it's well worth the wait. God bless.